Air Force bases? Yes, all, all eight Air Force bases, yeah. Wendling, Hailbridge, Halesworth, North Pickham, that's four that I know of. Okay. All in this area? Well, round about, yeah. Yeah, all within sort of 20 miles, yeah. This was the main gate here. It was? Yeah. I thought I remember houses right opposite the main gate. Well, there's houses just here. What's, can you remember what site you were in? Yes. Uh, Num number four? Uh, no, number two. And I was seven, number seven hut and number two site. There's Mine a map. picture of the sign on the door right in yeah. here. <laughs> That's the um, only reason I remember. Only Eddie Bright, he's, he used to live there. He was a young boy, about 14 at the time. 12, 14. His mother used to do the washing and that. Yes, I know that. My recollection is she did the washing. Her house was right across from the... I see, yeah. And the, it's this. Yeah, was this it, would it have been across this road? Your site would have been over here. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. There was a hard stands there. The tech site was just over here on the right. That's not, that's the blister hanger. That's original, that is. Original site. Just there, that one. Blister? Yeah, you used to keep a... I think it was a P-47 you used to keep in there. Uh-huh. We had a P-47 and, and I remember the thing turned up... Uh, I don't remember what happened. Ran off the yeah, end, crashed. ran away and flipped over a oh. bit. There was one crash the engine seized up. And then Jones bailed out. Some of them said that was a P-38 in there, but that's wrong. You wouldn't get a P-38 in there. P-47 you will. And I don't think you had P-51s here. That was one just used for, for joyriding, basically. It, it ostensibly was to herd us into formation, well, but they, they did other things with it. Yeah, well, I know uh, <laughs> Everett Jones, he claimed that he went, he'd never flown one and he wanted to fly it. They let him take it up and he, he went up long. The engine stopped, he didn't really know what was happening. And he claims that he see the repeller and he could read the manufacturer's name on the repeller, so he realised it was stopped. No, well, that's true, and I don't know. But um, he bailed out, and uh, the story goes the plane followed him down. Well, that's right, and I don't know. But they did strip the engine out when they pulled it out of the ground, and that was beer and failure. That threw a con rod, you see. That's what happened. Hmm. That's a good picture of the B-24 there. Yeah, that's my picture, that is. Is it? Yeah. You spent tons of time on this, too. Yeah, about uh, four years. Four years. Yeah. There are your squadron plaques on the wall there. 784, 85, 86 and 87. That brick there came out of the officers Mess over number one side. The one down in the middle there. Yeah, the one down there. <clears throat> that one come out of the base camp cinema. Oh. And yeah, that's right, it has chewing gum on it, I saw. Oh well. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> uh, and that piece of concrete to the right of that plaque, and that piece of concrete to the left of that plaque is from the main runway. Mm -hmm. What do you got there, Dad? I got a a control tower. Original marking. You got to remember there was a little greenhouse on top, glass house. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't seem very tall for a control tower, even with another story on it. Yeah, well there used to be a used to be a platform around the edge. Um, you can still see the markings in the wall where the handrails used to be fixed. I mean you could walk round from one side to the other. Well the main runway down there. That's hard stand thirteen over there. Oh, that's got turkey sheds on it. Let me show them my runway. <laughs>
this one was six thousand. That's right, right yeah. Six and a half. And, and the other two look like they're the four same weight. Yeah, four, no. four and a half, yeah. forty five hundred. You could land on them empty. Yeah. Or even take them but not with a load you would. You'd run off the end. Uh, yeah. And then you had to pull it off the ground whether yeah. you wanted to go or not. Yeah. Yeah. But how did Johnson get with the Brussels sprout? Well he he invested this cardboard metal on to take his shoulder to say this is what we're awarded you for tearing up the yeah, Brussels sprout. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh okay. We're on the main runway. 0927. That's it. You got it. Can you see this behind me? It didn't look like that when I remember it. <laughs> American Air Cemetery. Nineteen forty one, nineteen forty five, on the Great Wall leading to the chapel are recorded the names of Americans who in this area of operations or in the waters of the Atlantic gave their lives in the service of their country and who slept in unknown graves. Hmm. was uh, riding in the nose turret and was, uh, took a piece of flak in his jugular vein. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't, get, couldn't stop him, Could, couldn't no. get to him. No. Oh, this was on the bomb run. Great. Great guy, but it was really a shocker and an eye awakener for yeah. us. And that was on your second one, wasn't it? On our second yeah. mission, yeah. and their second mission also. They came over with us and such. Yeah. You've never seen a chapel like this, have you? No, sir. Look at the feeling. 1941, 1945. From these friendly owls flew their final flight and met their God. They knew not the owl today. successfully breached the Mone and the Edder Rear Dams during the famous Dams Raid of 1617, May 43. The casting weighs 2,650 pounds. We are now in the Bombay of the Vulcan Bomber. This wouldn't be a 50 caliber. Oh, right? no, it's a 303. 30 caliber. 30 caliber? Yeah. Pea shoes. The Lancaster landed at the bridge oh, yeah. on occasion. Yeah, yeah, I heard all the way, huh? That's a 
the vineyard, all right? Read this last line. Yeah, ground crews were supported by uh, air depots, which provided supply, repair, and factory services. Reconditioning of parts involved assembly of techniques as a part. Giant depot at Burtonwood. Oh, at the Banks. Giant Depot. I see. The uh, Burtonwood, there was about one of about three such places. Brother Joe was at uh, one of them, and I can't remember the name at the moment. But we have the B24D model, which we use to train on at not only at Fort Worth, but at New York Army Airfield in what is now Edwards Air Force Base. And that was the original uh, mass-produced B-24, B-24D. We used to drop practice bombs in this. This D model, B-24, D, uh, was used in the Palesti attacks for the most part at least the earliest Palestine raids out of Africa. The plan is to strip off all these panels and patches that shouldn't be there. Uh, then if there are too many in a, in a section like here, for example, there's a lot of mess there. We'll probably cut that down through there lots of new piece of skin to make it look like, uh, like a proper mm -hmm. Um You can see that although in Lackland they put a bead of mastic around each of the patches, there's still a tide mark where the moisture's got to. And that's what we're fighting all the time. Uh, you see some parts are more corroded than others. They tried to cocoon this thing. Isn't that about what they were doing? Yeah, but of course that was cocooned after the patches went on. And when you consider that uh, this one here has got H primer behind it, uh, this, this one has nothing. It's just metal to metal contact. And uh, it's done it no favours really. When you seal them up, they can sometimes sweat from the inside. Especially in the environment that we get in the States where it's better weather than we get here. And uh, it actually gets worse and worse. And you build a tent around it, the scaffolding in plastic, seal it up and it out Go in there with freezing apparatus on and shot blast it inside and out with miniature glass beads. It mm -hmm. takes all the old paint off and a great deal of that surface corrosion. If it blows into holes, we'll cut it out and uh, put new material in. Uh, and we vacuum it all out, get all the dust out of it, um, chemically treat it where necessary to stop the throat from getting any work, and then re spray it inside of it. Yeah, yeah, but we're still doing all that stuff. There's a story behind this is that a couple of local farmers rang us up one day and they'd been putting aircraft parts since the war. And they were having a clear out and uh, wanted to get rid of a lot of stuff. They rang us up and said, did we want any of it? So we took a little van over there and we found um, that it was exactly the right constituent parts for an auxiliary power unit for a liberator. So we chucked them all in the back of the van and made one good one out of uh, all the bits. It was all seized out and uh, the piston was broken and uh, we made it so that it turns and it's got compression uh, but it does need a rewire. If you rewired it, it would probably work. Need the home light. That's right. Yeah. L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6, L7, L8, L9, L10, L11, L12, L13, L14, L15, L16, L17, L18, L19, L20, L21, L22, L23, L24, L25, L26, L27, L28, L29, L30, L31, L32, L33, L34, L35, L36, L37, L38, L39, L40, L41, L42, L43, L44, L45, L46, L47, L48, L49, L50, L51, L52, L53, L54, L55, L56, L57, 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 L
That's where they were aimed for. We always stayed at the Strand Palace in, in London. It knocked everything off the mantel and yeah. busted glass all over the place. We are at the Norwich, Norwich Airfield. We are going for a joy ride and try to learn what the area looks like. We're going to fly over Apple Bridge Air Force Base. Okay, and this is Jason, our co-pilot. Hi, how'd you do? Clear from. Mm -hmm. Which is the runway which is gonna pass on our left here. If you look out to the left, you will see that um, we have a runway. was the mission, John. Great. We won the war, baby. <laughs> We saw everything there is to see in Norwich and a few things that we shouldn't have, probably. Uh, name, address, and telephone number, so he has an advertisement. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you a bit more about the structure and show you some of the things. Here we go round and round. I just ask you not to eat, drink, or smoke.
Trafalgar Square. Look at the pigeons. Everybody's seen chicks. How many pigeons can you count in an hour? <laughs> Battle of Britain Hall, and we're going to the RAF Museum. This is the bomber section of the museum. We're facing a B-17, and unfortunately, they seem to have screwed up and never delivered a B-24 to the museum. The Mustang, our favorite fighter. We couldn't have done it without him. Hey, we got a B-24, folks. Just what we needed. What else could you ask for? Ain't that pretty? We're in Portsmouth, having a sippy poo. Or two. And what are we doing in Portsmouth? What's going to happen here? We're going to take the ferry across to... <laughs> Can't even think of what Starts with a C. <laughs> I know it does. Next letter, H. Cherbourg. Cherbourg, why not? <laughs> and uh, we're, so we're outside the Portsmouth Ferry Terminal. It's 5.39 in the afternoon on July the 2nd. Second? And um, we are, we have a berth on the ship at 10.45 tonight, <laughs> right? Right on. Arriving in Cherbourg early morning. Right. All right. So this is our hotel for the night. Not this particularly. But anyway, we've got five hours to kill now, so we're starting it this way. <laughs> Attaboy. Hey, we're on the Pride of Hampton leaving Portsmouth. England, bound for, what's your... <laughs> We're on the Pride of, Pride of Ham, Hampshire, is it? Yeah, Hampton. Hampton. We are now on the Pride of Hampshire. 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 All right, let's try it again. Go. We are now on the Pride of New Hampshire. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the fantail, as they call it, folks. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Cherbourg by George. <laughs> Here we are in St. Mary Gleese. There is the church steeple that John Steele, when his parachute caught on that pointed implement. Unfortunately, he's still there. scaled the cliffs to silence the German artillery in the area. I guess we had an able bombardment of this place up here also. Omaha Beach. My new garden. <laughs> That's going in your garden? This is going in my, my new French garden. 